Hi everyone, let's get right into a reading. So only take it if it resonates. I channel multiple energy groups on here, so this may or may not be your energy group. I really appreciate your comments too. Thank you guys so much for commenting. I love hearing your stories too. And it's just, it really helps me get back in the algorithm. Even just leaving a heart comment. So thank you guys so much for the support. Got Southern of Cups, the Chariot, the Three of Wands. Five of Wands. Hmm. Page of Pentacles. Two of Swords. The Magician. Eight of Swords. The Moon. Judgment. Death. The vibe I get here is with the Seven of Cups and the Chariot and the Three of Wands, I feel like this is somebody that knows you have a lot of options. I get the energy of someone who's kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop. So this is either a secret admirer who just, you know, maybe someone like a neighbor, coworker, friend who never really told you how they felt about you. Or this could also be an ex or, you know, someone from your past where they kind of know that they messed the connection up a little bit and that they need to fix it. It's like somebody who just never, it's like there's something that's just like unspoken between the two of you. And I feel like this person has this sense of urgency. They really understand that time is of the essence here because they see you as somebody, they kind of have you on a pedestal here. It's like they see you as somebody that's highly desirable with the Seven of Cups, that can be about illusion, but it can also be about choices. You see this person looking at all these different options, and it's almost like they're in their head, like they're confused. And I feel like this is saying a couple things. For one thing, I think they know that you're moving forward because they were in this energy, this energy of illusion, of wanting to play the field and see what else is out there, or just being afraid or shy or just not non-committal energy, basically. More than anything, I think this is telling me that they see you as somebody that's having a lot of options. You're moving forward. And if they wait for this ship to sail in, if they just wait and they don't take any action, you're not going to be single for long. You're the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So it's like Nine of Pentacles upright is somebody who's just single. They're living their best life. They're abundant. Reverse, though, in this context, I'm taking it to mean basically they know if they wait too long, you're not, you're not going to stay single. You have options. You're... You're a very de desirable person. You're very attractive. Um, you might have like, maybe you have like a strong aura. I'm getting like, there's something about, it's it's not just physical. There might be something about you that you, like physically that's very unique. Um, but I'm getting there's something about, you know, the way that your mind works, your, your spirit, your, the way that you view the world. There's just something about your energy that's very unique. So it's not just a physical attraction. It's like a spiritual and mental attraction too that people might have with you. So they, they, they have this fear right now because they know if they wait, there's going to be competition for you and you're not going to take any little offers. You're not going to take, especially if they wait too long and you have multiple people coming in, you're, you're not you're not going to be as willing to, to take like whatever little, I mean, you're not willing to take breadcrumbs at all right now, but they know that each day that goes by, you're less and less willing to accept small offers from them. We've got the two of swords and the magician, magician and the eight of swords. I'm really getting like a roller coaster energy from this person right now, like a very up and down energy. And if you're very psychic yourself and you're tuning into this energy, you might actually be feeling this kind of roller coaster energy where it's like one minute they feel blocked, they feel insecure, hopeless, and it's like you can kind of sense it even if you're not in contact. And then the next it's like they're in the magician, like they're they're trying to make some changes, step into their power, and then they go right back to being kind of blocked up with the eight of swords, you know, someone kind of being in their head. We've got the moon and the judgment. I feel like this person is kind of aware of whatever bad karma they have um, for mistreating you or they're they're aware of if it was like a shy secret admirer type who just, you know, never pursued you, never was too afraid to, you know, 
take that take that from being a friendship to something more like they were too afraid to express feelings i think they kind of have this awareness that they did this to themselves like they have this awareness of being under judgment here the moon is about things that are hidden as well so i think for one thing they're also not aware of how you're feeling and that's kind of giving them this anxiety because Maybe in the past, it's like it used to be obvious to them that they still had you, how you were feeling. And now it's kind of like they're not able to tap into your energy as easily. They don't they don't know what's going on in your life right now. Yeah, we've got the moon, the judgment and the death. Yeah, but if they just didn't express feelings, I feel like they just have this awareness that it's like you know, they, they caused this, they, they kind of, they, they did this, they, they know that they're under judgment. They know that there's things coming to light here, coming to the surface. And there's some kind of transformation taking place. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about how they view you. The queen of pentacles, three of cups, seven of wands. If there were third parties, I think that they know that you are aware of it. They know that you know about it because they know that you're standing your ground and you're defensive partially because of this, because they wanted to play the field. They are wanting a new start here with you. They are wanting that ton of pentacles with you. I also think that they're more attracted to you now because you're standing your ground. It's almost like you it's almost like you took your power back from this person. Like you have more self-respect now. Cuz the Ace of Wands can be um it can be a passionate new start, but it can also be it's very phallic. So it can also, you know, some readers see it as something sexual here. So I'm kind of seeing it as like you were aware of third parties and you stood your ground. And it's, it's kind of, it's almost like this person is like more sexually and romantically attracted to you now because of that, because you're stepping into your power. And it's like, they are finally seeing that there is a 10 of pentacles here with you that, you know, whatever they wanted, it wasn't with these third parties, you were the, the true divine feminine, or you were the true divine masculine all along here, you were there happily ever after all along. And they're, they're, they're wanting that, um, justice they're wanting to they know that you have your justice now and they they're wanting to come back around and try to build this with you tell me more about this situation it's almost like the tables have just kind of turned with this person where it's like they were the one that wasn't really respecting you they wanted to see what else was out there play the field um, you cut that short. You nip that in the bud. You're like, no, I'm I'm not an option. They they thought that they could have their cake and eat it too, kind of go play around and, and come back when they were ready to settle down or whenever they felt bored and lonely. And I, I feel like you just really stood your ground. Like they really it kind of kind of shocked them. I don't think they I don't think they saw this side of you. It's like you probably always had this side, but maybe they they just kind of underestimated you. And, and yeah, now I feel like the tables have turned where it's like the opposite. It's like, you're the one that has a lot of options. You're the one that can have your cake and eat it too. You know, you're the one that's highly desirable, highly attractive right now, really stepping into your power right now. And, you know, they're the one that's, it's, it's divine justice. They're the one that's being kind of cut out. They don't have any options right now. If they do have options, it's not going to, it's not going well for them or it's not going to go well for them. It's going to be, um kind of just like illusions, like drama, chaos, uh, repeating old karmic cycles with people, like going for the same type of type of woman or same type of man over and over again, like their options are not desirable options. Whereas your options, your, you know, divine justice, you deserve your 10 of cut or your 10 of pentacles here. You know, you deserve this new start. And I feel like this person has this awareness that either you're going to have this with them, or you're going to have this with somebody new but you're you're gonna have this like this is your birthright this is you know this is divine justice you deserve this so i just keep getting this energy too of just them waiting for the other shoe to drop they they know it's like they know that you're single but i think they have this awareness that you're like open to to new love if they're not coming forward if they're not they're probably energetically trying to pull on you right now too um 
And I feel like sooner or later, they're going to come to this realization that that's not going to work. They're not going to be able to energetically pull you back in, you know, telepathically doing energy work, whatever they're doing. They're going to have to come forward in the physical with an actual physical world message offering, you know, some kind of commitment, some kind of, you know, union here, soulmates, twin flames, uh, working together as a team, you know, open, honest communication. They, they know that that's what you deserve. They know that that's what they're going to have to come forward with if they want this to um, to move anywhere, pretty much. Yeah, and it's giving them anxiety because they're like, they're trying to find loopholes, like any way to not have to be the first one to message, any way to to not have to step up into a masculine role and, and be the first one to take that initiative and get things rolling. But yeah, they're going to have to, they're going to, you're going to have to just let them sit in this anxiety and this, this you know, insomnia or whatever they're going through, because they're going to need to realize that you're not, you're not going to be the one to always be in the masculine role and come save the day in this relationship. They're, they're going to have to step up. They're going to, this person's going to have to show you that they're a real man or a real woman, you know, take it, you know, male or female could be two women or two men here. Take it as it resonates. But yeah, it's like, they're having this anxiety because they're like, they're like, shit, like they, they know that you're single. I just, I keep hearing waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like they know you're single. They know that you're attractive mentally, physically, spiritually. They know that you know you're attractive. They, they know that you're confident. Um, they know that you're open to new love. If they're not getting it together, if they're doing the same shit as before, they know that you're at that point where you're not going to wait. You're going to open yourself. If they don't want to step up, then you're going to open yourself to new love. So Right now, they're seeing you as somebody that's highly desirable, um, single. Um, they're probably having like, if you're going out, if you're going to clubs or you're going anywhere, they're probably having anxiety over that. They're like, oh my God, who is she with? Like, or who is he with? Like they're, they might be like on your, if you're on social media, they might be like looking at who's liking your pictures and, and who's commenting. They're like, oh, like where, you know, where are they at now? Where are they, where are they going tonight? Like what's going on? Like like trying to trying to get answers. But yeah, I'm getting that they're trying to like energetically pull you back in. Um, and, and, and again, it's not it's not going to work. They're, they're going to have to step forward physically. And that's why they're having this anxiety, I think, because they, they're coming, they're aware of this, so they're becoming more and more aware of this. I feel like some of them, if they're like into witchcraft, or they do energy work, it's like they're kind of experimenting with that, like they're kind of experimenting with like, meditation, telepathy, like pulling your inner like energy work, like trying to pull you in. Um, and I think you can feel that, but, but yeah, it's like, they have to come forward in the physical if they want this to move. Yeah. They have to come forward with the physical message. And that's why they're like, so in their head right now, cause they're like, damn it. Like this isn't, you know, this used to work before they used to respond to me pulling on their energy or they used to, you know, like, like they don't, they feel like they're kind of almost like starving. Like you don't, you're not giving them anything to work with. You know what I mean? So they're like, damn, like I have to actually like step up and send a physical message. Otherwise they're, they're not, they, they know you're not going to be single for long. They know if they wait too long to send this message that you might either be guarded or you might be talking to somebody else. They, they, they might get rejected. They know if they, they know they can't sit on this. They know they can't really take their sweet time with this because they know, I don't think they feel like you're with anybody yet, but I feel like they have this sense that you're open to meeting new people that you're, they know you're not waiting anymore. So they know if they don't come forward with the message soon that you might just reject this. Cause it's like, if they wait too long, if they wait months or whatever, you might just be like, Oh yeah, I've been, you know, I'm with someone now. Like I've just met somebody. So no, thanks. Like, like they know it's kind of like a now or never energy where they got to come forward. Yeah, they have to let go of all the bullshit in their head, all the stress, anxiety, the burdens, the worries. They have to let this go and they need to come forward with information. I feel like there's information that you need. Like there's things that they left you in the dark about. It could be third parties, could be leaving in the dark about how they feel. And I feel like they have this awareness that they're going to have to come forward with that information. And you're not you're not going to do small talk with them. They're going to there's going to need to be conversations about, you know, things that have happened. There's going to be need to be conversations about, you know, third parties and coming together and working together as a team in, in healing this connection together. So yeah, they're just very fearful right now that, you know, time is of the essence. Very jealous right now too. They're very worried about who, whoever you're, if you're hanging out with new people or 
if they just don't know what you're doing, it's like they're very kind of kind of worried about that right now, not knowing, you know, where you are, who you're with, um, wanting answers. I think they're also, you know, aware too. Knights are all about action. We got three knights here. <laughs> so that's really interesting. Hmm. That is interesting. Yeah, but I, anyway, I feel like I feel like someone's coming forward here because time is of the essence. So somebody's gonna have to have to just put their pride aside and come forward before it's too late. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go put this out there. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate your comments too.